Thank you for your purchase of the Zoic Paleotech Zoic Chicago, a modified air scribe for fossil preparation. Within the box, you will find a supplementary user manual. This covers the modifications and use of this particular pen, which is a modified standard original CP9361. Also, you will find the original paperwork as well as the original manual that came with this tool, including its serial numbers. A maintenance pack containing air tool oil, silicon grease and some spare o-rings for the stylus. The airline hose with its inline filter and male coupler. And the pen itself with its protective sleeve. So the first thing you'll probably want to do is fully assemble your tool. This particular example comes with an extra flexible airline hose. If you chose to buy the, st the standard version, which comes with its own reinforced 2.4 meter, meter long hose, it's already pre-assembled. In order to assemble the hose onto the tool, you'll want to take the end of the hose, push it in, and it will lock itself. If you want to disassemble it, you will notice that all push fits have these two blue tabs either side. To disassemble, you will need to press on both at the same time while pulling on the hose to release it. Before plugging in your Zoic Chicago, you'll want to take a look at your compressor. On your compressor you will have two dials, a larger one showing the pressure in the tank and a smaller one that, uh, that is connected to a pressure regulator that shows you the line pressure or the outlet pressure at the connector end of your compressor. In order to connect the pen, you'll want to take the filter assembly with its male connector, put it into the female quick connect and push it forward until this sleeve locks over it, making sure that this can, cannot, be, uh, cannot be removed. At that point you can turn the line pressure on and now you see the pressure we have inside the line. The normal working pressure for the Zoic Chicago is 90 psi or 6 bars, although it can run at lower pressures than that, that is the recommended setting. On the pen itself you will have this throttle valve and at, with a tiny indent here marked off. Towards the other end you will have a series of numbers, these relate to the power of the pen. So in order to turn it on you want to turn the throttle valve all the way up to 5. And to shut it off just turn it all the way back to off. Now we're going to show you a few points and tricks on how to use the Zoic Chicago air pen. So once it's plugged in, now it's, un it's running at 90 psi, so you want to turn the valve. One thing that might happen when you try to switch the pen on, you will notice air is flowing out, but not, nothing is happening, nothing is moving, nothing is moving. At that point, to get it started, you can either tap the side of the pen on your workbench or on the rock, or alternatively, you can tap the stylus gently onto the, onto the rock itself or any other hard surface. As you can see, this pen has a reasonable amount of force. At the moment, I was using it with a 2.5 millimeter rounded chisel, which seems to be the best all-rounder for removing large, large, amount of, uh, large amounts of matrix. As with any other air pen, you want to let it do the work and not push it. And also, you want to be using it at a relatively shallow angle to the matrix, so let's say about 40 to 45 degrees to the matrix. Again, you don't want to be using it like that at 90 degrees to, to, the, to the matrix just to dig in. If you do that, chances are that the stylus will try to dig itself in and break off. Please bear in mind, tungsten carbide is the optimal material for styli for removing rock. 
due to its re resistance to abrasion, but can be very brittle, so care does need to be taken. Do not use it as a, as a lever to pry open cracks, or make sure that if you are working close to an ammonite, you're not digging into uh, any of the chambers, at which point this will get stuck and most likely break off. If looked after correctly, and of course depending on the type of matrix you're going to use it on, one of these styli can last you for many years. Because the, the bushing holding the stylus in this particular pen is hardened and tempered, you can use it for erasing mo movements, so side to side side movements, without any fear that this, this will wear and cause wobble of the stylus. Also, side to side motions with this particular pen are aided by the very fast beats per minute at about 13,500 for the Zoic Chicago. <laughs> An additional benefit of using a rounded chisel is the fact that you can smooth out the, the traces that you, are, you have left before while roughing. More specialized version of the Chicago is one having an extended reach bushing and an extended stylus. This is meant to help you reach hard, uh, hard to prepare areas such as the deep centers of ammonites or if you're lucky enough to find it, the orbital cavity of an ichthyosaur. Tungsten carbide is the optimal material for, for preparing fossils but it can be very brittle if used incorrectly. Especially with this long reach, please do take more, more care. While the stylus is very robust and durable and will last you for many years in regular use, if used improperly, it can break. When you ordered your Zo Zoic Chicago, you will have also ordered a particular dimension or, or type of stylus. At the moment, the one that is in this particular example is a 2.5 millimeter pointed stylus. In order to change the styli within the, the Zoic Chicago, you will have to unscrew the body of the pen. It will be a bit stiff. Take out the drive mechanism and you'll be left with the body. Take the stylus out. You'll notice a very important thing. There are two O-rings on the shaft of the stylus, as well as a male hexagon that is used to lock the stylus against rotation. This male hexagon will lock inside a female hexagon within the bushing of the pen. If you want to reinsert the stylus or change to a different type of stylus, you will have to drop it into the pen, wiggle it around, and more often than not, you will see that not the full length of the stylus comes out the end of the bushing. At that point you want to grab the end of it, pull it forward and rotate it until you can see, just see, the edge of the carbide holder. This means that the male and female hexagons within are properly locked. If they are not and you try to put the drive mechanism back onto the pen, it will damage the insides. So at this point all you need to do is push it forward, screw the drive mechanism back on, again it will be a bit stiff, and the pen is ready to use. I will also add that while it is perfectly safe to change the styli in your workshop, once you've taken the drive mechanism out, please don't put it among rock chips or piles of dust or anything like that. The piston and cylinder on the inside are critical components, and if you get any rock dust inside of it, it will destroy the pen. We will now introduce you to some basic maintenance of your Zoic Chicago Air Scribe. For this particular type of pen, Chicago Nomatic do recommend that you have an inline oiler, however that might get a tad annoying with fossils as you will most likely have oil spurting all over the place. Instead, because of this, we recommend oiling the tool manually, so what you'll need to do is unplug it from your airline, Put in a few drops of the supplied air tool oil. This is the correct viscosity recommended by the manufacturer. And 
plug everything back in. We recommend doing this at the beginning of each working session just to get into a good habit. Because we've just oiled it, you will want to run the tool into a soft piece of tissue or any, any, uh, any sort of uh, rag. Not a lot of oil should come through, but this is a just-in-case type, type of thing. We recommend doing this about once a week if you use it every day. So, take the drive mechanism out. Again, put it on a nice clean surface, away from rock dust and chips and all of that kind of stuff. Take the stylus out. Check the state of the two O-rings on the stylus. Again, critically important there are only two O-rings at any one time on every single stylus, whatever the type of stylus might be. Check to see if they are worn or damaged or cracked in any way. And this would also be a good time to apply a bit of silicon grease to keep the O-ring supple as the compressed air tends to dry them out. Just apply it liberally, don't need to be particularly cautious with it or anything like that. At the same time, you'll notice that it, this particular tool comes with the Zoic Chicago Air Tool Oil. This is a special oil of the right viscosity as recommended by the manufacturer Chicago Pneumatic. You will want, if the, you have the tool disassembled, just for maintenance, put one or two drops in these two orifices here, either side of the cylinder. Again, not a lot, just a bit, and maybe a drop in the end. If you wish, you can also put a bit of silicon grease on this particular O-ring, which seals a cavity on the inside and on the one at the back. Thank you everyone for bearing with us and watching this short video on care and maintenance of the Zoic Chicago Air Pen. If you have any further inquiries or clarifications, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.